the FDA may soon effectively ban natural desiccated thyroid medications from being prescribed in the United States. If you haven't heard about this, I'm gonna share all of the important details with you in this short video. So on August 6th of 2025, the FDA officially declared that all animal-derived thyroid medications were to be classified as unapproved biologics under the Public Health Services Act and companies will need a biologics license application or BLA to keep making or selling these in the United States. The FDA is giving them a 12 month risk-based enforcement period so that patients can transition off of their natural desiccated thyroid medications or NDT. Some people have heard that they can stay on their NDT until 2029. That date comes from older FDA communications around 2022, when the agency formally told the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy that NDT is now considered a biologic and cannot be compounded without a biologics license. But that timeline appears to have changed. As of the FDA's latest update, the deadline is just 12 months away. This fight isn't new. Some patient advocacy groups say that the FDA's push to get rid of NDT started in 2009. I can't find any formal FDA statements from that time, but things clearly escalated in 2022 and now they're moving forward. But don't panic yet, there is some hope. In order to get this type of license, this biologics license, that can take years and it's a very extensive and difficult process. There is one company called AbbVie, and it may be the only company capable of getting the biologics license because they already have billion dollar biologic drugs on the market, like Botox and Skyrizi, and entire teams of lawyers, scientists, and FDA experts who handle these approvals. Even so, the process takes time, and there could be a gap where patients are forced off of NDT. Smaller NDT makers don't have this kind of backing or resources, so if AbbVie succeeds, they could gain a monopoly on NDT and the most control over the entire thyroid medication market. They are the creators of Armor, which is the most popular NDT medication. They also sell Synthroid, the most popular synthetic thyroid medication out there. And with no competition, prices could increase, which has happened with other biologic drugs. If you're paying out of pocket, Armour is already really pricey. NDT has been around and has been used since the 1800s, long before the FDA's modern drug approval process even existed. When the agency began requiring formal approval for new drugs, medicines were already in widespread use, like NDT, and those were grandfathered in. That meant that they could stay on the market without going through today's expensive approval process as long as they were made and labeled consistently. This status has protected NDT for decades, but now the FDA is trying to change all of that. So in order to get a biologics license, it's gonna require extensive clinical trials providing safety, efficacy, and manufacturing consistency. The problem is these types of clinical trials can take years. It's possible that it could cost upwards of over $100 million. The FDA's application fee for this alone is $4.3 million, and that's before spending millions more on clinical trials, manufacturing upgrades, inspections, and endless regulatory paperwork. For small NDT makers, this will probably be financially impossible. Upon further research, it appears that AbV may be moving forward with what's required to keep NDT on the market. Right now, AbV is recruiting for a large multi-state clinical trial comparing Armour Thyroid, their NDT product, to synthetic T4. This study is double-blinded, randomized, and will evaluate both safety and effectiveness, as well as how patients do when switching from T4 to Armour. They're enrolling around 2,800 participants across many U.S. locations, with the trial expected to run through 2027 and finish in 2028. I'm assuming that the trial is for biologics approval. It's a strange situation because AbV owns both Armour and Synthroid, the most popular synthetic T4 medication. But in this trial, it looks like they're not putting Armour up against their Synthroid brand, but instead against a generic version of levothyroxine. Since AbV is running the study, they'll also be in control of how the results are framed. And like many of you out there, I don't really have a lot of trust in the FDA or pharmaceutical companies. With saying that, I am grateful that there's at least one company taking these steps. I don't want us to lose all access to NDT. Some countries only have T4, and I cannot imagine what that's like for the patients who don't do well on it, and there are many people who don't do well on T4 alone. I also don't want people to panic because the FDA has stated that patients have 12 months to transition to another medication. 
there's always the possibility, and this is just speculation, that the FDA could potentially extend that timeline. We've seen something similar before with NMN supplements. They were supposed to be pulled from the market years ago, yet enforcement has been delayed again and again. So while there's absolutely no guarantee, it's not unheard of for the timelines to shift somewhat. The situation is very frustrating because more and more people nowadays are suffering from thyroid issues. And it's something that is incredibly frustrating and incredibly difficult to manage and to deal with unless your issue is just very minimal. For many people, it turns into years and years of struggling. And the biggest struggles have to do with the medications and the lack of medical options, the lack of medication options. So many people are put on T4 only when some of them may do a lot better on a T4 and T3 combination, which is natural like armor. Many people would prefer to try armor over synthetics. It's just incredibly frustrating to lose some options that we have and one that is so important to a lot of people. I will keep you guys posted on what's going on with this situation. Please let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more updates.